You're listening to a Frequency Podcast Network production. The Brock and Dolby Podcast. This is the Brock and Dolby Podcast. A happy Saturday. Welcome to the Civic Long Weekend edition of the Brock and Dolby Podcast, which only makes sense if you're in Ontario, if you are listening literally anywhere else in Canada, it is probably some other sort of long weekend. And if you're not in Canada... Uh, I, thank you for listening. That's really cool. Uh, on Saturdays, we like to take some of the stuff that didn't make it into our weekday podcast from the show, as well as some of our big segments like Text Us Tuesday, Text Us Thursday, which are all your questions, and Would You Rather Wednesday, and uh, just give you a little bit of extra stuff. So here you go. The Brock and Dolby, Brock and Dolby Podcast. The Brock and Dolby Podcast. You should send a text to me and Dolby. You should send a text 762555. Text us. Text us. If you've got a question that's weird, send it now. If you've got a comment or a concern too, text us. Texas baby. I'm uh, officially referring to us as the Brocky Cat Dolls. Mm. The Brocky Cat Dolls Beast. <laughs> wow, it got worse. That's crazy. Someone said, in your opinion, what country has the best flag? Ooh. I mean, I'm going to say Canada just because I'm a true patriot. No, nah, that's a boring answer. I love Canada's flag, but I will say Brazil's is nice. I like Brazil's. There is a flag. All Every single flag is the boring rectangle with lines and stars and whatever. The Nepalese flag, the flag of the Nepal. Nepalese. Yeah, Nepal. It's two triangles. It's almost like a double pennant. Here, take a look here on my screen. That's the coolest flag huh. because it's different. It's the only country that flag. That looks like something you'd make at camp. I'm on board. Yeah. I had fun at camp. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if that would really flutter too well in the wind. Hey, works for Nepal, man. Uh, I'm going to disagree on that one. <laughs> uh, someone said, if you had a chance to steal a hundred bases in baseball, mm-hmm. how many do you think you could steal? I guess they meant, like, if you had 100 opportunities, how many bases? 100 times I'm at first base and I get the opportunity to get to second. I think at least once. Zero. Zero times I'm going to make it. Like, are you asking how many times do I go or how many times am I safe? Safe. I'll go 100 times. I'll be safe zero. I'm not fast. I think I'd get at least. Oh, yeah, true. (laughs) Speed (laughs) is a big thing. That's a big part of it. I'd say I'd get at least one because there's got to be an error, right? Where the catcher throws over the second baseman's head out of 100 times. You know what? Okay. I'll also take a one on statistical probability that at least one time out of 100, somebody else makes a mistake, and my fat ass jogs to second place. There's second always base. a chance. Yeah. There's always a chance, In right? my younger days, like when I was in like my physical prime and I did sports and stuff like that, Sure, maybe two, maybe yeah. three. Catchers are wild, man. Uh, someone said, what's your best advice for when your computer gets hacked? Uh, you're screwed, man. Uh, if your computer gets hacked, the first thing to do is obviously disconnect it from the internet. The second thing to do is on a different device, change as many passwords as you possibly can. And the third thing to do is not go to those websites that you were going to. You should st- That should actually be the first. <laughs> That's A number one. Stop going. There are no... Yeah. Those people in your area, they do not want you. It's not happening. After that, disconnect from the internet, change your passwords, and call your credit card companies. That's another step. Uh, Our friend Ben texted in and said, with all the Olympic swimming events taking place in that gross river in Paris, Mm. I'm wondering, would you ever swim in one of those rivers? No. 100% no. And you know what you need for proof that you shouldn't? The triathlon in Paris for the men's the men's triathlon in the Olympics today was postponed because the Seine River the one that they're talking about was uninhabitable for human people now see the thing is is i think i'm all right yeah i grew up Swimming in Lake Ontario. <laughs> you know where the Skyview Bridge from Burlington to Hamilton? My mom used to take us there all the time. Okay. That's essentially the same water as the three-eyed fish from uh, Springfield and the <laughs> <Blinky>. Simpson. 
<laughs> so I feel like my body's immune to some things that most people's aren't. You've you know? been preparing for this your whole life. Yeah. W- it, would I would I go out on my own free will and do it? N- maybe not. To represent your country for a chance at a medal? But I, I don't think I'd be as worried as other people would. You might actually have a chance to medal in this year's Olympics if they called on you right now, because you might be the only one to get in the water. Yeah, yeah. Also, <laughs> my dad lives in Wasega Beach, and so I, I guess if I go there, I'll, I'll already experience it's it. It's just as bad. <laughs> uh, someone says, would you rather wear jeans one size too small every day or shoes two sizes too big every day? Uh, I think the shoes, because I could just, like, double up on the socks. That's the thing, is, man, yeah. when you put on, there is no feeling worse for both your self-esteem and your comfort than going to put on a pair of jeans that are just too small. Oh, yeah. Because you can get them on. You could go about your day. But you're constantly, A, thinking about the way you look, and B, just feeling that little pinch oh. right under the belly button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially if you got a gut and it's yeah. just poking in it. Oh, that's Absolutely the worst. Absolutely not. That's the worst. Uh, all right. What's one you want to wrap up with here? Uh, well, this text here just says, why did my wife leave me? Do you want to get in? <laughs> do you want to get into that? Or do you want to talk about uh, Finn's question of what's your favorite dinosaur? Uh, pterodactyl. Pterodactyl? Pterodactyl, for uh, sure. I'm a brontosaurus kind of guy. Uh, why did this guy's wife? leave him yeah it's not your fault well you don't know that maybe it is your fault what if it is his fault I, then it's all your fault i think if you did something wrong that's why and if you didn't do something wrong you probably did something wrong mm-hmm. you just don't know about you it. you need to talk to selino and barnes my friend <laughs> <laughs> the brock and dolby podcast ford's slogan is built ford tough but mm. uh maybe uh evolving to built ford tough on crime Because Ford is apparently trying to patent a system uh, that they developed that would automatically report speeding vehicles to the police. Okay, you don't need to be snitching on me when I buy your vehicle. Now, the thing is, it's not you, actually. Oh. It's not your vehicle. They'd use their onboard cameras to snitch on other drivers. Oh, so you become the tattletale of the highway. Yeah. You become the snitch. 100%. Let's do it. I'll bring you all down. The snitch petition? Only I get... (laughs) The Snitch F-150. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm sold now. No. I, You know what? I'm guilty of speeding. I, we talked about it this morning of me being late to work. You have a heavy foot, yes. Absolutely. That said... <sighs> I don't know. Like, we've, we've already got police. We've already got radar. We've already got all these other things. Do we need to be driving around hitting the snitch button? This, this is the Brock and Delby podcast. Would you rather Wednesday? Would you rather Wednesday? All right. Yeah. 762 triple five. Uh, if you've got a question, you can still send it in here. Stop just texting in two different kinds of meats. I don't smell like meat today, no matter what Brock is trying to say. Someone texted roast beef or lobster. If you're asking which one I want to eat, mm. obviously the answer is lobster. But if you're going back down the what do you smell like? You can't be smelling like lobster. Well, then you just, you know, nobody smells like lobster. You either smell like butter or nothing. That's, <laughs> Even if you go around smelling like butter. That's a weird smell. That's questionable. <laughs> if you walk in a room and someone's like, I can't believe it's not butter. And you're like, it is. <laughs> it is. You know, it's margarine, actually. Yeah. I don't, butter's too fatty. As you're sliding all over the floors, <laughs> leaving a snail trail everywhere. <laughs> oh, God. I like this one. Would you rather have to start a new job every year until you retire? January 1st, new job. Or you have one job, you work in one place for your entire career right until retirement. Uh, I have a lot of respect for people that actually work like one job for their entire career. Mm -hmm. And also, I mean, starting a new every year would kind of suck. So I think it would be tough because you wouldn't be able to really make any advancements or anything like that in the span of a year. But I also think if financially you were capable of surviving on that. Sure, yeah. Dude, it would be so cool to try a new career every single year. To be able to look back and be like, look at all the things I did. (laughs) Yeah, but to an outsider, if they didn't know what was going on, they'd be like, what is going on? That's just it. If this is just like a cool like life challenge thing that you're doing and everybody's in on it, I think it's cool. Every year you have to explain (laughs) to someone, you're like, I have this weird genie curse. (laughs) Right. That's why my resume is so huge. That's why I get fired on December 31st every year. (laughs) Uh, Would you rather switch places with a spider or... Or a mouse for one week. Um, I mean, mouse 
Mouse just kind of like hide in your house and like, I mean, they do have lots of babies, so they're probably having lots of fun. I think the biggest thing is that people actively try to kill spiders, whereas people usually just call a professional about the mouse, mm. right? Nobody saw, nobody's ever seen a mouse and tried to go whack. Yeah, but also a as spider. a spider, you get to like sneak into people's mouths <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> As a mouse, you could climb up on top the head of a French chef and run your own restaurant. Ah, that's a rat. Damn. Spider. Spider. You're right. I was wrong. You switched me over. That's the roast beef (laughs) taking over your head right now. (laughs) I digress. Uh, Would you rather rather win a Stanley Cup or an Olympic gold medal? Oh. I got to go Stanley Cup. So here's the thing. I think the honor of an Olympic gold medal is higher than the honor of a Stanley Cup. Yeah. But I think I can turn one Stanley Cup into an endorsement deal and make more money than a gold medal athlete might ever make. Sure. I mean, <laughs> uh, I could tell you a lot of people that have won Stanley Cups in the past 20 years. Mm-hmm. I can't even think of a name off the top of my head of the Miracle on Ice team. Mm, that's fair. The goalie Craig something. Jimmy Craig, maybe. I, you're asking the wrong I, guy. Yeah, but they're like, they're not as big hockey legends. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, but on the other side of things, there are people like Donovan Bailey, like Usain Bolt, like Michael Phelps, being a gold medalist, but those are generational gold medalists. Sure. So, sure. I think I take the Stanley Cup because I think you can have a more set future mm-hmm. as an NHL champion than you. An Olympic gold medalist still got to go to his day job next month, you know? True. Uh, someone said, would you rather be able to know every time someone is lying to you or be able to get away with every lie you tell? I mean, <sighs> that's an easy one. Get away with every lie. Yeah, I don't think I want to know every time someone's lying. I mean, white lies exist for a reason. Sometimes you lie to make people feel better. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't want someone to be like, oh, man, you're looking really good today. And my spidey senses go off. You but know? even <laughs> just being able to get away with all your lies, it's almost like uh, these are not the droids you are looking for. The Jedi mind trick? Yeah. Like, yeah. you could easily be at Loblaw laws and just be like they'll be like did you pay for that and be like yes i certainly did yes i did (laughs) yeah you can accomplish a lot more being able to get away with lies and you won't have your feelings hurt you can sneak backstage places and be like are you supposed to be here Yes. Certainly I am. Everyone oh, would just believe you. Yeah. After you. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe my parents wouldn't be divorced. The Brock and Dolby Brock and Dolby Podcast. The Brock and Dolby Podcast. If you send us a text, 762 you can ask us anything, anything that you want. Send us a text, 762 we'll read it on the radio. Send us a text, 762 because it's Thursday right now, and it's time to get weird. Just send us a text, 762 come on, send it now. Are you ready? I was not ready for the duet, I'll tell you that right now. Don't be mad, don't hate me. <laughs> a lot of people have been hitting us up wondering... What type of meat does Dolby smell like today? I, I, I don't smell like meat. This this weird bit that you're running. It's not a bit. I'm just saying yesterday it smelled like roast beef in here. Don't say it's not a bit. People are going to think this is a real thing. It was a real thing. It I smelled don't... like roast beef yesterday. <laughs> it doesn't today. No beef boy today. But they I... probably emptied the garbage overnight. It's not. Stop looking at me like that. I'm just going to let you defend yourself because you just, the, the more you defend yourself, the more it this sounds is, This like- is the conundrum you've put me in. You say things, people believe it. I defend myself. You use that as evidence. I'm a straight shooter. I call it or smell it like I see it. Oh, you're a straight shooter? Yeah. Tell that to the people you swindled on Facebook Market. I was a straight shooter. I told them about it. Uh, he does not smell like beef today. Thank you. Um little hint of oregano for stop, some reason today. Stop. <laughs> People are going to think you're telling the truth. Hint of oregano and Old Spice. Why would I lie? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm not lying. You can't smell yourself. I can. I'm just trapped <laughs> in a room with you that's like six by six. Like... <laughs> Anyways. Moving on. I'll tell you what he smells like tomorrow, too. Don't worry. So we got a text from Aiden, and this has legitimately ruined my morning. Well, more so. Mm. Says, you know coffee is a juice? Look up the definition. So I looked it up. Is it? The definition of juice is liquid obtained from fruit or vegetables. 
Coffee comes from beans. Coffee is a juice. Damn. <laughs> By that's definition. weird. I mean, I guess that's why people call it bean juice. Bean juice, go-go juice. I've heard that before. Right now, there are people who are right now sitting in their truck in a drive-thru waiting to get their hands on a extra large double-double juice. Well, it is funny because some of you do act like children without their juice, so <laughs> it is accurate. The next time someone's being a weirdo at your work to be like, do you need me to get you a sippy cup full of coffee? Well, that's why they've got some of those sippy lids on some of them now. <laughs> uh, someone said, who's the big action star? I feel like there's no action stars in movies anymore. It used to be oh. Arnold Schwarzenegger or Sylvester Stallone. Yeah? Wesley Snipes had a run. I mean... It was The Rock for a bit. Eh. Vin Diesel, Jason Statham had a turn. Statham, I'd say, would be like the last big one. I mean, I just feel like everybody does different movies now. Yeah. So, I don't know, Johnny Sins, that guy seems to have a bunch of roles all the time. <laughs> a lot of action. He's he's getting the most <laughs> action. Seen his fair share of action for sure. <laughs> uh, someone said, who let the dogs out? <laughs> Ah, uh, someone who doesn't like plus-sized women, apparently. <laughs> what? That's the song. Is that what it is? The whole song is about... I was just hoping you were going to go, who? Oh, who, 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 who? sorry. I thought you were asking in detail. The whole song is written about, like, not appreciating larger women at the club, apparently. Well, you just learn something every day. Awful for a dance hall song. That is, uh... Kids used to run around singing I was going to say, we used to play that at school dances all the time. <laughs> yeah. That was in the rug <laughs> Rats movie. <laughs> Someone just said, uh, "Is it is it possible then if tomato is a fruit, does that mean ketchup is a smoothie?" Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, it does. It's a blended blended fruit. Ew. I, I guess maybe the only thing is, is do you, do you, does ice cubes make it a smoothie? Like, do you need to ground up? Like, I've never poured ketchup over ice cubes before. Yeah. I've also never just taken a pull from the bottle, so well, that I'm also, also feels I'm bad. also just thinking if, like, you know, beans kind of make juice, yeah. then with, like, peanuts, like, if you had it in a smoothie, would that be juice, mm. too, then, technically? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to wheeze well, no, the juice. Because peanuts are not a fruit or a vegetable. They're a legume. They're a what? A legume. Mm. That's what I've been told. That's what you smell like. It's fun. <laughs> I just about swore. I just about (laughs) swore on the air. For more Brock and Dolby, tune in weekday mornings 5.30 to 9. The Brock and Dolby podcast is brought to you by badshop.ca, the Brock and Dolby merch store, with all proceeds going to the Canadian Cancer Society.